Okay, this is going to be your video on your open range. Stock number 14158, 2004 open range. Okay, on the front of your camper, you've got a, a light. Electric jack, your track stand. You got two 30 pound tanks on the front of this. Your regulator, whichever way this tab's pointing is the tank you'll be using. When this tank is empty, I'll close this valve, open this valve, and switch this lever that way, and then you'll be running your other tank. You got a new battery. Front compartment, through storage. You got four regular stabilizer jacks. They're not leveling jacks, they're just stabilizer jacks. You do your leveling from the tunnel. When we get to the other side, I'll show you how to extend those. This is your docking station. labeled on the door as to what the valves do. You turn this blue valve to the left, you'll be filling your fresh water tank. You turn it vertically, you'll be on city water, which is where you want to hook your hose. This is your black tank plus. If your black tank monitor is showing that something's in there and you know that you know that you've dumped it, if you hook to this, it'll have rain heads that'll rain down on those sensors to hopefully clear your monitor for your black tank. It'll have hot and cold. Put this quick connect hose. And you got your different settings on the hose. And again, it's just a quick connect. Just like plugging into an air compressor and then your door has these little tabs where you can close it and latch it even though the hoses have got over to the left is where you tie your cable on the part provide cable or satellite you can plug it in there and there's a little flip door for the cable to go in as well down underneath at this point you got your gray pool your black pulls on the side. When you dump it, you're gonna to wanna to dump your black tank first. That's gonna be your pooping paper. And then you pull the gray lever and that gray water rinse out your liner. To the right, you got these two cut off valves. That's gonna be your low point drains. They're labeled on the side of the camper as well. In the winter time, you wanna drain those you get the water out of your lines, they can't freeze up. Showing you underneath the slide. Back here at the back. We're going to tie your 30 amp cord. It's approximately 30 foot long. That's going to come with the camper. This low point drain under that, that's for your fresh water tank. And those pipes there are the overflow for that fresh water tank. So if you want to drain your fresh water tank, you do it right there. There's another jack on the back side. Your bumper. You pull the ends of the bumper out and you store your sewer hose connection into this. Spare tire. Beside the spare tire on the back, this is where you fill your fresh tank. It has the cable. It's a plug and play for a backup camera. It's not there, but it has the connection for it. Got an 
outside receptacle here. This is your water heater. It is electric and it is gas as well. You never want to turn the electric on before you come out and just give this a slight tug to see that there's water in it because if you turn on the electric before you do that, you, in 10 minutes you'll burn your element up. So always be aware of that. Exhaust for your furnace that gets extremely hot. It's just gas on the furnace, and that will get extremely hot when even you it will burn. Bedroom access door. Your store through compartment in the front does have a light on this side to touch light. This jack handle here, you connect it to these jacks and bring these jacks down. And they do provide a three quarter attachment for your impact, which is a great thing. And I'm getting ready to show you the fastest way to do what you want to do. take a lot of work off of you and you got this in your front compartment as well that'll be right there Now we'll go inside and check her out. That's your exhaust for your vent over your stove. That's your outside speakers. These steps here, I'll show you how to fold them up while we're going inside. You got these little feet on the bottom. You wanna make sure there's no rocks in those feet. When you pull it in, because the rocks are going up in the camper, and the latch is in the jam right there. Close your door. This handle goes up and over. You can adjust those feet as well by pulling these tabs, and that will extend up on each side so you're on a level ground. Feels a lot better in here. The awning light switch is right here inside the door. We'll fully extend your awning. And we'll go back out and I'll show you what that looks like fully extended. Bring it down on each end. If it's raining or you want to divert the sun, just come to this middle bolt, pull down on this middle bolt, bolt, and that allows this side to drop down lower. And raise it back up. And you want that back, you want that to be straight when you bring it back in. You can do that from either side. This extends it all the way out, and that brings it down. Okay. 
I'll bring that back in. System, the red light you see, if I can get you in focus there. That's the electric side of your water heater. This is the gas side of the water heater. This is the fresh tank pump. That'll turn the pump on and let you use that fresh tank if you're out boondocking. Your battery's full. Fresh tank is empty. Black tank empty. Gray tank empty. to the door. We got this fold out bed here. We got a USB charger and a receptacle to the left. We got a receptacle to the right. If I light over, there's a touch light you just push in on the center. Storage. See this? This is your LP detector. It's gonna go off if there's a gas leak. That's gonna sound up. This is your breaker dash fuse box to the left. It's got your 120 fuses on this side, just like in your house. And that's your 12 volt fuses. Beside each one of those fuses, there's a red light indicator. If a fuse goes bad, to take the guesswork out of which one you need to replace. It also has like a looking glass. A lot of times you can see one of those red lights that they're shining through here. That's one of your furnace vents. The furnace comes out low, the air comes out the ceiling. Above those cabinets is a sound system. Zone one be your inside speakers. Zone two will be your outside speakers. This is your connection for your TV. This red light, as I showed you, put cable out there next to your water connection. If you're bringing in cable, you're gonna to wanna to push that button. If you don't see that light, you're gonna be bringing in the cable that you're hooked to outside. If you see that light, you're gonna be on antenna. And with these campers, these antennas have come a long way. You're gonna pick up somewhere between 30 and 50 channels just free out of the air with that antenna right here. Got a backer board for you to mount your TV. Show your exhaust fan and the light. The light the exhaust fan. Microwave. Does have the turntable inside. The stove. I like this feature on this stove. It doesn't matter if I got the lights on or not, it shows up red, and that's a great thing because there's somebody got the stove accidentally cut on and not lit. That's a gas leak. So but you turn on the lights right here, they turn blue. And that's your knob lights if that toggle switch is up. If the toggle switch is down, that's your knob lights and your oven light. To light the oven, turn it. And that's your knob on the left. Oven. 
you turn that to where it says pilot at the top. So if I can set you up where you can see what I'm doing here. I'm pushing in on that knob. That lights your pilot in the back. You hold that pilot down for about 10 seconds and let it heat up that thermal cup. After it's heated up, you can let go and it'll stay on. Then you turn it up. And your temperature is on the knob. You got this glass cover, never cook with the glass cover down because it will bust. Got a USB charger, receptacle, receptacle, touch light over the sink, sprayer. Sink does pull out. Doors. Sink. Touching that light off. To the right of your slide, you got your thermostat. You got a mode button here. We got it on heat. Just showing you the heat works. Your furnace that just came on, and all that comes out of the floor, or out of those low vents, I should. Cut it back off because it gets extremely hot, extremely quick. It's already 90 degrees outside. Okay. Trying to back off where I can give you a whole shot of what I got going on here. Down it. Refrigerator. is good and cold. You push this button to set one through five. Set the one four there. Bathroom, sink, cabinet, medicine cabinet. Okay, I showed you the breaker box in the living room. You also have a GFI in this bathroom. If a receptacle should stop working before you even check the breaker box, check this. You might need to reset this. Light switch is here. This is your fan switch. The mode, half pedal, full pedal. Down. Hot. Cold. I'm not the best cameraman for that. I do apologize. All right, we're into the bedroom. You see, you got two furnace vents in here. One in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. And you got an AC vent in the bathroom. And as I said, they are directional, so you can spin those. Has a solar panel on the roof. 
This is showing you where your battery is. This is a place you can hang a TV in the bedroom, your plugs on the ceiling, your cable connections on the ceiling, whatever you got that button pushed to in the living room where I showed you would be if you were on antenna or cable. That goes for the whole camper. You got a touch light over the bed. Hang up storage on each side. Receptacle. Receptacle. Large storage area over the bed. Another hang up area. There's your AC vent in here. There is large storage area under the bed as well. The slider door, you take this tab off. Cuts off the bedroom from the rest of the camp. back door. And these steps, you fold the first one into the second one, and then you roll it right under the camper like that. I'm going to walk you around the outside of it one more time. You might have to flip your Flip your phone for me one more time. Open range, 2024. And that cover goes over your tanks. I hope you enjoy it and I appreciate your business.